thought of design as being so much more than just the way something looks. It's the whole thing, the way something actually works on so many different levels. Ultimately, of course, design defines so much of our experience. I think there is a profound and enduring beauty in simplicity, in clarity, in efficiency. True simplicity is derived from so much more than just the absence of clutter and ornamentation. It's about bringing order to complexity. iOS 7 is a clear representation of these goals. It has a whole new structure that is coherent and that is applied across the entire system. We've considered the tiniest details, like refining the typography, to much larger ones, like redesigning all the icons. And developing a grid system allowed us to achieve a much more harmonious relationship between individual elements. We've also incorporated a whole new palette of colors. Distinct functional layers help establish hierarchy and order. And the use of translucency gives you a sense of your context. These planes, combined with new approaches to animation and motion, create a sense of depth and vitality. The iPhone, responding to your movements, drives the parallax to create a whole new experience of depth. In many ways, we've tried to create an interface that is unobtrusive and deferential. One where the design recedes, and in doing so, actually elevates your content. Even the simple act of changing your wallpaper has a very noticeable effect on the way your iPhone looks and feels across the entire system. While iOS 7 is completely new, it was important to us to make it instantly familiar. We wanted to take an experience that people know very well and actually add to it to make it more useful, to make it more enjoyable. To create it, we brought together a broad range of expertise from design to engineering. With what we've been able to achieve together, we see iOS 7 as defining an important new direction and in many ways, a beginning. <laughs>